Welcome back, Cardboard Warriors. How's everybody out there doing today? I've got an interesting question, quandary thing that's been uh, bugging me ever since I had a conversation with uh, one of my LGS owners. Um, I, if you've been watching my videos, you know I'm not really big on the whole banned and restricted list thing. I think they're a little out of control. I think there's way too many cards banned that really shouldn't be banned or restricted that shouldn't be restricted. Um, I've always been kind of a, <laughs> a believer in, you know, I like faster games and more aggressive games. Now, I do understand there's a line that has to be drawn, and that is, uh, you know, it's got to be able to at least not be so easy that everybody can build the turn zero deck that can, that can win before your opponent even has a chance to draw a card, you know, I mean, so... But isn't that why they created Force of Will? Anyway, <laughs> I don't like counter spells. But uh, there was an interesting question brought up uh, when we were talking about fetch lands the other night. And that was uh, the, the LGS owner actually believes that fetch lands should be banned. Um, and I, at first I was like, that's preposterous. What are you even talking about? You know, fetch lands are one of the greatest things that happened in the mana base since they stopped making the original dual lands. Um and uh, his argument is that because fetch lands give you the ability to shuffle your deck at any time, cards like Ponder and Brainstorm and a bunch of these other cards that uh, that are affected by that um, wouldn't have to be banned. So he said his argument is that if they ban fetch lands in at least uh, a large portion of the formats, that um, a lot of the other cards could be unbanned that are that are not really powerful cards on their own per se, but with the added ability of the fetch land being able to shuffle after you've scryed the top of your library or whatever, you know, um, makes those cards a lot more powerful than they should be, and that's why they've gotten banned. And I got to think about it, and that is pretty good argument, actually, is the fact that, you know, you, you, you do have a lot of control over your library, and there's a lot of cards that let you... Uh, rearrange the top cards of your library or discard to the top of your library that uh, then you could, you know, trigger off a fetch land to shuffle your library and get rid of those cards, which normally that's the drawback of the card to keep it from being too powerful. But with the fetch lands added in there, it makes the card too powerful at that point, you know, especially like Brain Geyser and Ponder and stuff. So I see his point. But I'm still, I just don't like banning cards, especially when it comes to mana base. Mana base is one of the most important things in the game. If you don't have a good mana base, you can't play correctly. Your deck won't work. And uh, I really think they've handicapped the mana base so much over the years with the, uh, you know, by, by stopping printing the original dual lands. I, I don't think original dual lands are powerful. They're necessary in my case. I think original duels are very necessary for the game dual lands that come into play untapped are important for multicolor decks you can't run a five color deck without original dual lands and expect it to work very well i mean you can obviously people have found ways to do it but uh you know really i just like the uh i like the original dual lands and i think they were an important staple you know i started the day revised came out and you know, back then, if you'd have told us they were going to stop printing dual lands and make them hard to get dual lands, I would have laughed. I was like, what? That's insane. They're, they're such an important part of mana base when you're running multiple colors. But So I had this conversation the other night, and I just kind of wanted to run it by everybody out there in YouTube land and see what you guys thought. Do you think it's more important to have fetch lands in a format like modern we'll, we'll talk about kind of modern or pioneer or whatever i don't know if there are fetch lands allowed in pioneer i don't even know but pioneer is really so <laughs> i mean um we'll talk mainly about modern i guess uh modern legacy maybe um do you feel that if fetch lands were banned in modern and or legacy it would help the format or hurt the format uh i know there's you know, like the professor and, and those guys were really, really adamant about how important it was to reprint fetch lands because they're so important for mana base and we needed those in the formats uh, and people were having trouble getting them and the prices were outrageous on them. 
now thanks to Modern Horizons 2, <laughs> all of us should have plenty of fetch lands. Uh, currently, you know, I don't think they're going to reprint them again in the next couple of years, but we'll see. You never know. You know, they see money, you know, they see dollar signs, they might do it. Uh, Modern Horizons 2 is obviously the most successful set they've released in a long, long time uh, because of the fetch lands mainly. So we'll see what happens if they reprint them again or not. But I have a feeling we won't see them for a couple of years at least except for in maybe specialty products that are going to be very high end. Uh, so the prices of these are going to, you know, inch back up over time, I believe. Um, but it's not a really a, a price thing I want to talk about. I want to talk about whether or not fetch lands are, are making a bunch of cards too powerful. And that's why all these other cards are getting banned. Is it, is it, are the 10 fetch lands getting rid of those worth getting all the other cards back possibly in the formats now i know this is something that's probably not going to happen but i'm just curious what other people think about this because that was the first time i'd heard that opposing view of somebody even daring to mention that uh fetch lands should be banned in a format and uh after he explained his reasons it did kind of make sense to me that there are a lot of cards that just wouldn't be so powerful without the ability to shuffle your library you know, pretty much every turn by using a bunch of fetch lands on the deck and thing out your library and making the deck run a little bit faster as well. So I've always liked fetch lands from day one. I was playing uh, pretty heavily uh, with DCI when uh, uh, Onslaught came out. And as soon as I saw the fetch lands, I was like, oh, these are genius. This is a great idea. Uh, I love these things and I grabbed as many as I could. And unfortunately, you know, I sold that collection because I had mountains of fetch lands, original onslaught fetch lands. But anyways, um, live and learn. And the, the, the worst, the, the best lessons are the ones that are the hardest to learn, I guess. But uh, I just wanted to kind of ask everybody else's opinion, what they think of that. Is it worth getting all those other cards back to ban fetch lands and make the game slower? Uh, or... Do you think mana, like me, do you think mana base is so important that it really shouldn't be messed with? In fact, it's been messed with too much already. Um, it's it's very hard to build a deck that runs really smooth without original dual lands, in my opinion. I know there's a lot of lands that are very similar. We got the fast lands and we got the check lands and stuff like that that you can get into play untapped. You got the uh, you got the shock lands, you know. Shocklands were another great one. I was playing when those came out, and I was like, oh, again, another great idea. A dual land that you can actually put into play untapped if you pay some life. That's amazing. And the fact that they do count as forests and swamps and mountains and all that, you can use fetch lands to grab those. And I thought it was pretty good because you're going to pay a life for the fetch land and two life for the shock land if you want to actually get that land into play untapped. So you're paying three life to get a, a dual land into play if you go that route. So I thought it was a good handicap, you know, and I under, kind of understood it, why they wanted to handicap the dual lands, but I really just think that the mana base is the toughest thing to overcome in deck construction and in playing in general. If I had the right mana at the right time all the time, uh, the decks would would just run so smoothly, but it seems like every game I've ever lost has been because of mana. It's it's almost always because of mana. I mean, there are exceptions. I mean, sometimes I just face a much better deck, much better uh, you know construction. But but nine times out of ten, when I when I feel like I could have won the match, it's always the reason I lost is usually always because of mana base or just the opponent just got really lucky card at just the right time, you know. But Top decking aside, man, mana lock or mana flood is always the, the biggest problem in the game. If the mana base was a little more uh, solid, like it was back in the early days when we had the OG dual lands and stuff, and we had mana rocks that were legal to play in the formats, um, you know, soul ring and dual lands really helped the decks work uh so i've really hated when they cut the original dual ends and now they're viewed as like this hugely powerful thing they're not really powerful it's just they're they're powerful with all the stuff that they've had to do to compensate for them over the years if they hadn't cut those original dual ends I don't know if they would have ever done Shocklands. I, I bet they wouldn't have done Shocklands, and they probably might not have done Fetchlands because we didn't need to go get those dual lands, but they might have still done Fetches. Um, I don't know. It's, it's you know, it's all speculation because we can't 
go back and see how it worked the other way. It's what's done is done, but that's uh, just something I, like I said, I had this conversation the other night and I wanted to bring it by everybody and see what everybody else's opinions are. Do you think we should ban fetch lands in certain formats like modern and legacy? Obviously, we don't want to ban anything else in Vintage. Vintage should be left alone. Uh, there's already too many cards banned in Vintage. Vintage should just be like Iron Man Magic. You know, the, may the best player win on turn zero or turn one. You know, <laughs> uh, That's the funnest thing about Vintage is, you know, you can use any card in the game and, you know, have a blast. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, should certain formats ban fetch lands in order to unban all the cards that are banned because fetch lands make them too powerful? Or do you think that's all just eh, mumbo jumbo? Uh, fetch lands are uh, hugely important and we need them and it doesn't matter that you can shuffle your library. That's not a big deal. You know, let me know your opinions in the comments below. I'm kind of, I was... 100% on the fetch lands are important train, but after that conversation, I'm kind of doubting that and wondering how the formats would unfold if we could unban all those other cards by banning the fetch lands. I don't know. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Love to hear from you guys. Check out the description below. Uh, there's a lot of good links in there. Save your money, get your cash back on all your purchases and uh, sales on a lot of boxes on Amazon right now. And those links are directly from Wizard's store on there, not third parties that are going to send you repacks. Uh, Jumpstart boxes are still under 100 bucks. That is amazing. So if you haven't, if you didn't pick up a lot of Jumpstart like I didn't, now's a good time to grab them. They're under 100 bucks. I knew they'd get back down here. I just didn't think it'd take a year, but they are back down there. So now's a good time to grab them. Check out the links below. Use those links. It really helps out the channel. My Patreon link's down there. My, uh, Link to my eBay stores down there, and uh, my email address is down there, and also my actual address if you want to send me something open on camera. So let me know what you guys think about fetch lands being banned in certain formats in order to unban all the other cards that are banned as a result of fetch lands letting you shuffle your library return. So let me know what you guys think, and love to hear from you, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.